another vlog. So I haven't been vlogging for the last few days and I thought I'll give you a little bit of a life update because so for those of you who have been along enough will know that I suffer from severe migraines and I get a lot of headaches. Last month I had quite a big one and the last two days I've been bedridden because I had one of the worst migraines ever and it sits right behind my eye and so i don't function properly so i'm like a normal human being because when you have headaches sometimes you just pop a pill and it kind of subsides but with this one i literally have to take off the day and sit in my bed and rest and i had this headache for two days straight it wouldn't go away it didn't matter how many pills and pain can painkillers I took I just wouldn't I just wouldn't go so it's been quite an emotional roller coaster because about two months ago a month or two months ago Courtney's uncle passed away from a brain aneurysm I think that's what it's called ever since then it's just been sitting on me that I could just die in my sleep sorry that this is ended up being like a morbid introduction <laughs> but this is also my life I'm a human being and sometimes our periods and seasons just don't go the way you wanted it to go so anyways it's been sitting on me the whole time to the point where i don't want to sleep because i'm scared that i might die like i said i get headaches on a daily basis it is just has been part of my life and since the beginning of the year my gp and i have tried to figure out what it could be I tried different pills to the point where he told me about two months ago i need to get it he thinks i need to get an mri scan now if you don't know, I don't have medical aid. All my medical expenses is out of pocket. So doing an MRI is extremely expensive. And I was like, I'm gonna think about it. And something happened with my RA. I'll explain it in a lot more detail in my budget video coming up at the end of this month. I am not going to surrender the money I'm going to model. The first thought was like, I'm gonna pay my debts off. And I made a list of the debts that I wanted to pay. And obviously paying your debts off, or if I had used this money to pay the debts off, it would have moved my journey, or Courtney's loan journey, four months, almost three to four months earlier, which is like amazing. But when I was experiencing this eye headache issue on Monday, I literally woke up and I told Courtney, I woke up at like four in the morning and I said, what are the chances that this money is now kind of attacked my own money? But it's the exact money I need for an MRI scan. I'm not a big believer in science and coincidences and um, the way Courtney is. And he said, yeah, I, I think you need to go for the MRI scan. That's what I'm going to do. But this week was just something else because obviously the thought in my head was like, I have no issue with dying. I've kind of gotten over that fear and anxiety of, you know, death. But it was more so the fact that if I die of a brain aneurysm and I could have prevented it, I think that is what's going to be the biggest regret of my life because number one, I'm super young. I'm only going to be 30 next month. I feel like I still have so much life in me. The other thought was like, I'll miss Courtney. <laughs> and asking you, I'm not a clingy, emotional person like he is. He's very like soft. He's always like hugging me and I'm like, ugh. And I'm like the stone cold person. But this week, I've just been very attached to him and just thinking like, what will happen if I'm gone? And I have been like making sure that my what if file, I'll link below. Um, I know Nikki Bush did a PDF of what you should have in your what if file if a spouse passes on. And so you need to have all these documents. I was like making sure that that file is ready for Courtney when I pass on. Like that's where I was at. Once it comes into my bank account, I will go to my GP because both of my hands now have gone numb which is not great and I don't know if it's still because of my iron so I have that checked out and then I'm going to ask him to send me a referral for a headache specialist because I told Courtney let me go to a headache specialist first maybe it's not that deep maybe it is the food that I eat or it's just something else and then if he says if the specialist says hey you need an MRI at least I have the money available but for the MRI so that's kind of what I'm doing but the reason why I'm telling you this is that if you've got a gut feeling that there's something wrong with you 
please don't be like oh it's fine i'll brush it off i'll get something at the chemist just go and check yourself out i think it's so important for me also someone who doesn't have medical aid and everything comes out of pocket finance is always the first thing when i think about like being ill of some sort or just having this gut feeling something's wrong like that's the worst thing for me but like i said this money couldn't have come at a better time given that i couldn't pay for it two months ago and now it's kind of just falling in my lap it's been very quiet work-wise for me and in the past i would have been like oh my gosh like why don't i have work like this is a normal i've read quite a bit of self-development books i'm also getting older sometimes you don't have to always be full on working nine to five if there are moments in your day that is quiet i'm taking it as a joy and doing like other things that i need to do in the house or yesterday i sat the whole afternoon reading i'm gonna sit here for the next half an hour because the sun is peeking through the clouds and it's just oh i crave the warmth but i'm gonna she read my book and it's called Transcendent Kingdom and I started reading it last night so I'm quite far I'm almost yeah I'm on page 90 and it's such a good read it's also fast paced so I like that It is, gosh my ears, just, I just put it up in a, in a clip, but it is just after 6 o'clock and I finished my book, I finished Transcendent, Transcendent Kingdom in a day. I started reading it um, last night and I finished it and what a masterpiece of words. Honestly, it's such an incredible book and I'm always in awe of these authors who just have this skill and flair with words and just, I don't know how they come up with these stories and concepts and, but tonight I'm gonna make a, a creamy mushroom pasta. I have saw this recipe on the Cape Malay Facebook group. It's got no poultry in but I'm gonna put, pol I'm gonna put chicken in it, like chicken breast. So, I'm gonna get that going. So that when Courtney walks in, we can eat. <laughs> That, my friends, is the creamy mushroom pasta, but I put chicken in it because we are chicken people, so I hope it tastes good. Good morning! Today is Friday and Courtney is at home this weekend. I am just, I'm wearing this jersey for this dress. <laughs> I don't know, my ears a bit revolt, but it's fine. We are going to go and do our grocery shopping for the week. And then I have to go to Old Mutual to sort that stupid thing out. So, <laughs> doing that, good thing, the washing quickly. And then last night, Courtney and I went to do all his clothes. Because my husband's a hoarder and he hates giving even just one thing away. All of this stuff, most of it don't fit him. Because he's gained a few um, kilos. So that's fine. That's life. And then some of it is just like old and not his style anymore. But this is the most Courtney has ever given away in the four years that we were married. Anything you have to say, Courtney Carl? Uh, Nothing. There's a lot to go through. It was an emotional and process. There was like eight pens that I have, but only three of it fits me. <laughs> <laughs> I like so. wouldn't even yeah. close. It was so funny. I had a great time last night. I was so entertaining to watch. The stuff could not close, guys. It was... Okay, it, <laughs> you said that like three times. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go. Bye. I 
insieme anche lei. Okay, now that you're back home, I'm gonna give you a quick haul of things we bought. So, it's the first time I bought a 12 pack chicken breast. But, you can do a lot with chicken breast, so that's what I'm thinking. Normal chicken, mints, beef stir fry, and then the wine stir fry mix. Steakhouse cut frying chips. I didn't have the checkers brand because the checkers brand is like 30 rand, and this is like 43 rand. It's so expensive. And then I buy the butter rutis at Woods. Some. Just like instant noodles for the stir fry, carrots, uh, Cody bought some bananas, uh, Clement, I think it's Clementine, we love these ones from wood, tomato paste, Cody bought a massive slab of Kit Kat. Um, I have my jungle oat bars, I love the peanut butter one, the rolls, sprinkles, it was actually three for a special, and then Doritos was two for a special, and then we bought water, milk, and some flowers so I'm quickly just gonna pack this all away okay so how Courtney fixes our they call it a heater our heater because that's got two what do you call it pups? what? our heater what is the two lines called? I don't know Okay. Lunch? Two. <laughs> Panels? I don't know. Lunch. Like two little things. Anyway, so only one of it works, so it's fixed it nicely. But I bought two books at um, Bargain Books and I bought Yoke and I've seen it everywhere. I thought I wanted to read it and then The Rearranged Life of Anu Lockhart. Anyway, this one and then. <laughs> Cody bought a puzzle, obviously a Formula 1 puzzle, Lewis Hamilton's car. I'm not sure which year this was. It's a 60 piece puzzle and we are going to do it together. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't want me to work on it, but it's cool. Just close look. So for the most part, actually I'm starting to get a headache, which is not great. So my plan is to shut down my laptop which I've already done and just chill yeah that's what I'm gonna do today <laughs> So it is now night time, Courtney made chop and chips, so we're gonna sit and watch a little bit of The Big Bang Theory and then Bob's wants to watch and then we're gonna watch that movie. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna watch, once Courtney watches, then we'll watch this movie on Netflix called sea Be The Sea Beast. It's an animation movie, so we like animation. But I'm not feeling too great when I took kind of like downtime the right part of my eye from my eye it's at the back of my eye it just is having a lot of pressure on on it so <laughs> i heated this flexi thing that i got and kind of just like put it on the side it, it kind of helped but then i had to take two bowls i just couldn't deal with the pressure of my eye so definitely i have to go and check it out It is Saturday and it is almost 8 o'clock but I'm off to work while Courtney Gallivants and does God knows what. <laughs> I'm literally wearing the same dress I wore yesterday but I just put different shoes on. My damn jacket. Courtney and I have nothing planned for this afternoon. I think we're just gonna come home, chill, clean. I mean, Courtney done clean washing over there that he was supposed to fold yesterday. Yeah, I'm telling the people that you don't do your chores. I am back home and we went to Anissa's in Weinberg and we got us a whole 
hot but awful. Oh, I'm sorry to say Gatsby. We weren't supposed to, but I just felt like a Gatsby, you know? It's that lust, that with the one that you use the word lust, and it's, it's Elvis, good Elvis. It's a liquid day outside, it's like summer, and I'm just gonna chill on the couch and eat this Gatsby. <laughs> we are going to do the puzzle, the Lewis Hamilton puzzle. I hope that it's gonna come out really nice. You can frame it. Lewis! So basically, this is Death. how big it looks. It mm. looks like it's gonna be. Okay, awesome. Let's get building. Okay. This was the fastest that's all we built. I'm disappointed. Actually. I'm also disappointed. <laughs> it was 60 pieces though. <laughs> anyway. I wanted it to be longer, but okay. It was a little tricky. These model ones are tricky. Mm. So what now? What are we going to do with it? Take a picture. We send it to Amy. Okay. We're going to send it to Lewis Hamilton now. <laughs> I don't know. We can frame it. Good morning! It is Sunday today and it looks like it's another beautiful day because if I'm bringing out a short top, you know, like I was telling Courtney, winter doesn't exist here in Cape Town. But so far, you see what the time is. It is 10 past 11 and Courtney has done the dishes. So he's cleaned the kitchen. He packed washing away. You just had to do this. I changed the sheets on the bedding. Vacuum this, but we still have a lot to do. We've just been, we just laid in bed and have not dealt with this mess. So, just have to vacuum a little clean that space there. The lounge, it's something else. Look at that. Dirt, Courtney is going to clean the bathroom. He's going to hang out this load of washing. I will vacuum and clean the kitchen once I'm done prepping lunch. I've been a really bad vlogger this weekend and I apologize but after Courtney and I kind of cleaned the house I made lunch which was just like chicken potato roasting vegetables and I made like a little noodle, noodle salad and then <laughs> Courtney and I just napped for like a few hours and we woke up now I was prepping for the week looking at what meetings I need to do what things tasks I need to get done with and um, yeah that's basically what today consisted of. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate your love and support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.